And we are circling now over 56th Street, just to the east of Swope Parkway, where we have a, a homicide investigation underway. You can see police officers down there in the intersection uh, to the right behind that SUV, that police vehicle. Uh, several investigators on the scene, detectives, I imagine, and a huge area that has been uh, uh, cordoned off, if you will, by police tape. You can see it there. And then halfway down the block going to the south uh, along this street just east of Sa uh, Swope Parkway. And then you can see uh, so to the west side of that and then back to the intersection and on over to this uh, house. So right now, uh, very few details. We do know uh, a homicide is being investigated at this location. Two days after 23, AKA Joseph died. A nigga named Dooney Z and Zay got caught lacking. Zay got hit in his mouth and Zay got grazed in the back of the head, but his dread saved him. Then they drove to the hospital. That's K3. This is Eli 4500, Joseph and Quiz 1200. Yo, Spotter, you're making the head. Shout out Fetty, shout out Fetty. <laughs> be speaking on Eli 4500 and 23 but wanted to be cool with them before the funk. Zay the one who got shot in the back of his head. Zay the one that got blicked in the back of his head. This Z, he the one who got blicked in his mouth. Okay, so 2-3 and them, they got some get back, okay? So I don't know why the ops would go over there and mess with 2-3, knowing 2-3 and them don't be playing, okay? Now, 2-3 and them got, 2-3 got get back, okay? And what's going on with 2-3 is the same thing that's going on with Young Dolph. 2-3 is no longer here, but people are standing on business on 2-3's behalf, okay? So, at this point, I don't know who the ops is going back and forth with because 2-3 is gone. And even though 2-3 is gone, the ops is getting stepped on, okay? The ops is living with their head on the swivel, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Exorcist life, you know? Who's coming, who's coming, the ops is coming. So, I don't know that why they would even go over there and mess with 2-3 where 2-3 was chilling and, you know, he was getting his life together and they want to come over there and say, oh, I'm blinking on 2-3. I'm blinking on 2-3. Okay, so that just doesn't make any sense. And then almost 48 hours later, they getting get back. So what was the even the point of even doing anything, okay? Now y'all on here, y'all looking goofy, patches missing out your head, you feel me? Somebody talking about you got to get new teeth and all that. Teeth is, people don't know that, that you know about teeth. When you have teeth and you know, you always have the teeth that you was born with, you know, you kind of, you don't really be tripping off teeth, but teeth are really hard to replace. It takes a real gifted dentist to get your teeth back the way that God made them, especially if he gave you a nice smile. Now, if the doctor got to come in and turn a bad smile nice, 
that that takes talent too so it's not just that any dentist can get your teeth back right that's not the case to get your teeth back right and looking good you got to go to a talented dentist most dentists don't have uh, attention to detail they'll just put anything in your mouth and have you looking funny you know and you'll be feeling conscious about yourself i'm going through it with my teeth right now getting all kind of teeth work I went to a dentist, paid all this money, and the teeth did not look right, so I refused to take the teeth, so now I gotta, I'm gotta. i in the process of finding a dentist that's really talented that can put my smile back together, right, because it's probably about 75% back, so I need 25% need to be done. I did a lot of work in the front of it, but like I say, teeth are hard to replace, so you don't wanna play mess around with your teeth. You can't just get new teeth and be looking at like you used to, unless you have a whole lot of money. I'm talking like way past five figures, you know, just to get your just to get your teeth looking halfway back right. It could be even six figures. So teeth are nothing to play around with. So I don't know why they went over here messing with two, three because they got get back in 48 hours. Eddie Murphy, you know what I'm saying? 48 hours, uh, they were spinning and spinning and spinning. Today was dizzy, you know, 72 hours. Ops didn't get no get back, okay? Ops is just looking goofy, like I say, patches missing out your head, teeth gone, you know, you don't know how you gonna get your teeth right, you can't smile no more. Just It just doesn't make any sense. You know, you could have been doing anything else, but you over here messing with two, three, and he's getting his life on track. He's over his relative's house, and you want to pull up, hanging out the window, ganging. Okay? Ganging. And then on top of that, y'all down on the score. Okay? And it's just a lot of bragging about two, three, but like I say, they down on the score. And also to go with this story, someone's, uh, uh, um, uh, they also, I'm not even going to go into it, but, uh, faux baby, you know, people are saying he's, he's real deal on, um, he's real deal on this, uh, young thug stuff. You know, that's all I'm going to say about that. But they said young thug is for a fact, uh, uh, on some young thug type stuff. So. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So I just, I just, uh, just saying, man. I don't even know why y'all even mess with two, three, man. All right, y'all. Uh, long live two, three. I'm out of here.